This is your Captain King Joe here. I'm here to report some important news on the update. Arr, yes, the update, the stimulus update. Hello, guys. Um, just a few minutes ago, um, Senator Chuck Schumer from New York, Democrat, did a live video on ABC and did not mention anything about the stimulus package. No stimulus package was mentioned today. Um, he did mention that he wanted $10 billion for PPE. Um, and he did mention that for Donald Trump to invoke the Production Defense Act. You know, that happens when something major in the United States happened, like in World War II and stuff like that, when things were where we needed production. What happens is that all major companies or all factories or whatever the case may be, um, stops doing their production and they start building stuff for America. And those days were mostly armor, bullets, tanks, and all that kind of stuff. So in this case, they want PPE, which is a good thing. But is Donald Trump going to do it? No. He's not going to do it. Um, we've been having, we've been having a since the first stimulus. We've been going through all these months and months and months and months and still no stimulus package. Um, yesterday, I saw in California 10,000 people in line, man, on food banks, on a church waiting for food because the severity of the pandemic has gotten to the point that they can't afford to get food. And that's sad. It's sad that in, 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 a, in a country where we're supposed to be the best country in the world, Yet we have a food line outside because we have not certain because we have a government in place starting from Donald Trump all the way from Mirren Pelosi all the way down to let's trickle it to the other side to um, the Republican leader uh, Lindsey Graham, Mitch McConnell, um, to all of them from both parties has not has not come up with a plan. Has not come up. They have come up with ideas. They come up with a skinny bill. That's the skinny bill. That's not going to work. Um, um, they come up with 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 ideas that does not meet our goals. Um, this is something that they should have been done in the beginning. They knew that this was going to happen because it was predictive. They knew that this was going to happen. They knew that these things were going to come afloat. They knew that these things were were were. In in, in 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 the grasp, and they chose not to do anything. So instead of instead of doing instead of doing a CARES Act, let's say you know what, we're going to give a certain amount of money, and that's it. Because they only gave you twelve hundred dollars and whatever five hundred dollars for each, uh, each each child, right? So instead of continuing doing that, well, let's say the course of a month or two, and then say, then we're going to hold, and if the pandemic goes down, we hold this, and then. We will we'll pick up if, if the pandemic picks up and then we don't have to approve. We just keep on continuing doing what we're doing. You know, you continuously keep doing it until the pandemic goes away. Um, it's just it, it's just sad that you have these people who are lawyers. Most of them are lawyers. They could, I think math is not their, their, their forte. They cannot come up with a number. Um, there are certain things in the in the in the Heroes Act bill that you could do without there are money that's that wants to be allocated to to certain departments that really don't need the money for it you know um like like the gsa they want to give one billion dollars to the gsa that's the department right now who is in who who, who, who gives authority to sign off the transition from president trump or me from one president to another should i speak okay and then this this, this the the upcoming president the president-elect uh, chooses his cabinets, and then when they choose his cabinets, and then they have to have to go through an FBI backlog check. They have to do all these kind of things before they get, you know, they, before they can take a job. Um, and that hasn't happened. So um, they want to give a billion dollars to that department. Why? If it's not running, you know, there's a lot of things that in that in that in the in the Heroes Act that could be eliminated. You know, so. Um, and it's, and it's a shame that we have come to to well, we're we we're, we're close to December now, a week away, a week or ten days away, ten yeah like ten days away, less than ten days, 
for the month of December to start. And we still have not yet done a stimulus package. We still haven't done it. Come December 31st, all these moratoriums that we did, rent assistance program, mortgage assistance program, those things that people, they have to pay, that's going to go away, guys. That's going to go away. And then all these people that all these rent, but the bad thing about these programs is that, okay, you don't have to pay the rent for all these months, but when, when these programs die, when these programs go away, what's going to happen? These people, do these people have to pay all that money back? Of course they do. Did they put it in the back end? Okay, you know what? You just always, so, so instead of having a, a, a 20 years and five months that you have left in your, in your mortgage, now you have 20 years and, or 21 years because you have added those months um, before. Now you don't, have, you, you don't have to pay it all up front, but we're going to put it in the back end. They're not doing that. At least I'm not assuming so. So they're not doing it. So you have to pay all that money in the front. I mean, we, 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 we talk about, we talk about protection on the tenants and we're protecting the people on the mortgage. But I'm not too much I'm not too much interested in the mortgage because that's that that's bank and bank have enough money. But you gotta think about it this way. You you're doing a protection act that protects the tenant. But what about that landlord? The what about that landlord that has to wait six, seven, eight, nine months to get that money? Who's protecting that landlord? Who's helping that landlord? So you know what? You're gonna be an incentive. Um we think this is going to be six months. It's going to be six months around. See, hey, six months payment. No one's protecting the landlord. So, you know, that's a loss that they're taking. You know, so you got to, so, so, so if you're going to do this, if you're going to do this, tell them you have to do this for the landlord. You can't have both. You can't do both. That's, that's the thing that, that shouldn't have been done, but it was done, right? Um, and um, it's just, like I said, it's just an atrocity. It's, it's an atrocity that we have a government and I want you to think about this guys I want you to think about this here you have a president of the United States of America who has done only five appearances five appearances since the election he has done nothing about the coronavirus all he does is play golf he keeps insinuating that now he just said that I don't know why Biden is doing a tra um a cabinet um a cabinet um why is appointing cabinet members? If I had, this is what he said, that we have more than enough evidence to overturn four states that will go in his favor. What four states is he talking about? What four states are you talking about? Each state that you've gone to have denied you. Just yesterday, Saturday, a Republican judge, a Republican, this has nothing to do with it, a Republican judge denied his motion. And if you read, if you read, if, 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 if you read, the the brief that the judge did, if, and if you listen to 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 the video, this is an embarrassment for the Trump administration, because they are going to the courts with no evidence. And the judge said this: if you know, if you had, you would one would figure that if you have all this accusation, if you're accusing uh, uh, America uh, or the state of being corrupt, or that all these votes were fraudulent. Then you come to me with a proof, and upon, I don't know, and upon you bringing me proof, I have no other. I mean, I have no other. I mean, legality wise, I would have to vote in your favor because you're bringing me a preponderance amount of proof. Now it's beyond the burden of proof. Now, now, now we have to prove that. Wow, we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 signatures. We have videos of people confirming the devil's fraud. You know, we have proof that the machine was hacked, the machine, something was wrong, they, 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 they rigged the machine. Those are the proof that you go. You go in front of a jury with proof. You go in front of a judge with proof. You just don't go just because basically, because, because they did an investigation on a computer stating people that if you did have a claim to make it in your computer and the only way they can verify that was with a capture. And if you put that capture, okay, it was verifiable because they didn't want you, it's just... That's not the way you do an investigation. So how do you want <clears throat> these courts to go in your favor? He's just throwing these things in the air. Chris Christie just said um, a few minutes ago, this is an embarrassment to you, the American people. Donald Trump should just concede already. His legal team has made an embarrassment of himself. Rudy Giuliani has made a fool of himself.
He really has. He really, really, really has. And then to top it all, yesterday, you see Gerardo Rivera, which is one man I admire uh, to a point because he's Puerto Rican and stuff like that. I actually had the audacity to say yesterday on Fox News that the vaccine that is coming out now should be called Trump vaccine. People, the vaccines that are coming out now, it's not because of Donald Trump. The vaccines are coming out because we're each, not just here, and even in Europe, they're trying to come up with a quick solution. And people, if, you got, if you're going to come think, and if you think about this, this vaccine has been in the back burner for a while now. All right? For them to come out with a vaccine so quick, because shit, you don't even got a cure for, you don't even got cure, you don't, you don't have a cure for cancer. You don't have a cure for cancer. But all of a sudden, you came up quickly with a vaccine for 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 the coronavirus. So my my theory is that this already was this is already in progress. They just needed somehow to make it to production, so they can bypass. So so in order to bypass the FDA's approval, I think they just made the the pandemic and they knew about this coming out. Anyway, that's a conspiracy theory, but that's my that's my theory. Anyways, that's been coming along in every country and every, everyone knew about it. Um, so. Here we are, the end of November, and we still don't have a stimulus package. And even if they sign in the stimulus package, then we're going to go to the sea. We're going to repeat the same scenario back February or March, April, because this is no longer a Trump thing. This is more of a people thing. All these people that are surging with, 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 with all these states that are, I mean, all these states that are surging with COVID, it's not because Trump, it's, not, it's no longer because of Trump. Trump has a lot to do with it because he did a lot of, he did a lot of campaigning outside. He did a he did a mass campaigning. He should have known that listen, this is gonna cause a lot of outbreaks. He should have known that. I think all these people, hundred thousand people, this this has to do with his with his campaign. This has to do with people going to restaurants, people going into bars, people going to gyms, people just don't give a shit. And it's the honest to God truth. You know. People are going by, oh, this violates my, 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 my First Amendment right. What the fuck are you talking about your First Amendment right? What you, this, this is violating my constitutional right. There is no constitutional right here. There's nowhere in the Constitution that says that the, the, the states is violating your rights. There is nowhere because mandating they, because they're mandating your mask. There's nowhere in the Constitution that says any of that. So for anyone to say that this is, violate, this is a violation of my constitutional rights is an idiot. Apparently, history was not their forte. Even oh, I know that, Captain. You know? So it's plain stupidity. This a stimulus should be something that should be continuous. Yes, when you do the stimulus, you have to put in some some provisions. You have to put in a computer that will catch people who are defrauding, because there's a lot of people who defraud the poor. All right, there's a lot of people who don't need, they didn't need poor, applying for poor and got poor. Okay, I've heard of people I, that, that got $8,000, $10,000, and they don't even need poor. They don't, they don't, they're not even, I mean, they don't even own a business. Can you imagine that? So what does that do? It undermines, that undermines, it just takes away from the security that we have. I mean, people, people, people are, are in desperate time. And if they can get away with it, we'll defraud, we'll defraud the country. They, will, they, they don't care about the people next door. They don't care about this. But no, they care about their own selfish need. Or if I can get $10,000 from poor and I can get away with it, I'm going to do it. That's their, that's their mentality. And, who, and then at the end, who pays for it? You and I and other people. But when they really do need it, oh, we run out of money. Oh, we can't help it because when there is no more funds, repeat what I said with no money. So... These are the people that you guys chose. You guys chose a Senate seat again that you didn't remove. I understand why the, the Democrats didn't vote too much on the Senate because, you know, there was a lot of talk about defunding the police. There was a lot, and that, and that, that in itself did turn around and bite the Democrats in the ass. When you follow Ocasio, I like Ocasio, but when you follow that rhetoric uh, with, with, with Ocasio and, 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 and friends to defund the police, that leaves a bad taste in your mouth. You know, just to use the word defunding the police, people who understand, people who don't understand, they're going to assume that when you defund the police, you're talking about dismantling the whole police, there'll be no, there'll be no police at all. 
That's what people think. But they don't realize that's not what it's meant. That's not what it's meant. Uh, the fund the police, which is basically the funds that they get to do normal other stuff that they, they're not well, they're not supposed to, but doing other stuff, they won't get funds for that. The funds will get reduced or not get at all. So it means they can't hire people. It means they can't do overtime. Um, they cannot get new equipment. They cannot do community work for the community. That's what it basically means. So you're defunding the police. So you're not giving them. You're not giving them the funds to do certain things. That's what defunding the police means. That means that you're going to dismantle a whole entire city from you know you're going to dismantle the police services uh, or police officers, and you're just going to leave the city without police. And the, and the city of, of New York or the city of California, the city of Minnesota, the city of South Dakota is going to take over. The citizens are going to take over, and they're going to watch. No, that's not what it is. So, when the Democrats said they fund the police when they went after with Ocasio, that's what people thought. That they, and then and then and then and then the thing was that they didn't express themselves the right way. They just used the word defund. Let's defund the police, and that just ran off with the left, and that left a sour mouth. That left a sour taste in people's mouth. So they're not going. To, of course, they're not going to vote for that. I mean, Biden even said that he 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 wants more funds. For the police, which I do agree. I mean, I agree that our criminal justice system has to be reformed from all over from scratch. I believe that the recruiting of officers has to be more stringent. Okay? I believe that the police officers should be held accountable for their actions. You know, once a police officer gets one bad report, a citizen report, that report has to be that report has to be investigated. And not investigated by the police, but it has to be investigated by an independent independent party. You can't, you know, I was watching Serpo yesterday, and and I was watching when Serpo said, when they asked him, you know, would he be willing to testify? Yeah, I don't know, because, this, you know, ha, 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 a, a, a police force cannot police itself. A police cannot, a police force cannot investigate itself. Because it wouldn't do, internally, it wouldn't do a good job because there will be bias there. I don't want to do this because this, this will make my priest and my people look bad. I don't want to do this because it's, so I'm going to circumvent. I want to do this. I'm going to tweak this. I'm going to tweak that. I'm going to tell my police officers, listen, this is what you're going to say. You can't do that. So you bring an outside source and you say, we want you to investigate and we want you to investigate it thoroughly on this officer. If the investigation comes out and that officer was in the wrong, you take his gun away from him or his gun away from him or the badge and you dismiss him. I don't care what union says. We cannot have rogue cops. We cannot have crazy cops out there. Crazy officers out there who think that because they're young, because this is basically young, they're young, they have a gun in the back, that they're above the law. That cannot happen. Officers who are witnessing these 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 brutal attacks on officers on, on on innocent victims, they should say something. This blue wall has to go. So those are the things that you those are the things that you have to do when you reform the criminal justice system, when you reform the police, um, the police. That's what defunding always is, is, is about. But they took it beyond that. They didn't explain it to the people, and the people was like, Boo -boo. and then, and then, and then, and then Donald Trump started saying that, oh, these people are socialists. They're not socialists. They're progressives. They, 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 they the way of thinking is different because they want to progress. Um, Canada is, is, a, is, is a country who leans towards progressiveness. You know, they, 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 they progress because. You cannot stay stuck in time. What our founding fathers wrote 200 and some odd years ago, it applied to them then. It doesn't too much apply to us now because our minds have changed, our thoughts have changed, our way of thinking has changed, our way of living has changed. Those were the fundamentals for then. Now things, now things have changed. I mean... As far as the Constitution, yes, that, that that that's there. But there are certain things that 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 you have to say to yourself: We can't be doing this anymore because we're not that we're not we're not that society. We can't be we, we can't think like that because those those were the thinkings of back then. That's not the thinking of now. So you move forward. So you have to move forward. You know, reason. But a lot of people don't know that the reason that we have. The reason Canada 
and Germany and countries in Europe are able to do a healthcare act that, that you know healthcare for all, and and then you and you get to <clears throat> they get paid more wages or whatever the case may be. It's simply because they're VAT tax, the value added tax <clears throat> is high, so like 21 22 percent. So when you get paid, you're getting you're getting taxed, but you're getting taxed knowing that what you're getting, you're getting universal health care, your your streets are clean, you 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 can go to any doctor, you don't have to wait for these referrals, you don't have to wait for insurance. Everyone's creating everyone has everyone has the right to. And here in the States, when you mention raising taxes, people, oh my God. You know? And um that's the way it is. People here in the States are afraid to raise taxes. People, some people are afraid to move forward. Some people are afraid to 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 just logistically say, you know what? This is the way to go. They stuck on their own thoughts. Um that's why, you know, that's why I don't you know, I tell them, I don't I don't I don't I don't I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat. Um, but I think on my own. I don't I don't I don't I don't need to have Nancy Pelosi, which I don't like telling me that I have to do this. I I know that I have to wear my mask because it's the ethical and conscious thing to do. I don't want to spread something to others, nor do I want to get something. I don't care if the if the if the if the recovery rate is eighty percent, it's ninety percent. I know for a fact that everybody's body is different. Every immune system is different. So what's good for you, it cannot be good for me. What's good for me may not be good for you. So I'm not going to take that chance. I'm not. You know? So I'm not going to say, well, you know, because I heard Pelosi or, 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 or I heard Metro, I heard Donald, or I heard this. No, I'm not going to do that. I can form my own thoughts. I know enough about science. I just need I just need the facts on the virus. Um, and I just take it from there. And I make my own decision. But to wear a mask is my own conscious decision that I know that as a human being, that not only do I got to protect me, I got to protect others. Because I don't know, I could be asymptomatic and I can pass it on to somebody else. And that person could, you know, could end up in a hospital and die because of me. And I don't want that. You know, you, you don't know that you gave it to that person because you're walking around. You know, but I'm the type of person, I can be, I'm the type of person I would think about that it was still in my mind. You know, damn, I mean, see, I, I was asymptomatic. I didn't wear my mask. Who I could have infected. I don't know why it could have infected me. That's, that's kind of reckless of me. You know, so, you know, that is that 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 it is what it is. But there is no stimulus package in this. There is no, nothing coming forward. We're on November 20, 21. We're on November 22. Nothing, nothing at all, guys. So I don't know how is this going to play out on this lame duck season. I don't think that we're going to see a stimulus. I thought we were but it's getting dimmer and dimmer. Um, Donald Trump is not, he just doesn't want to do anything. He doesn't want to do anything. The Republicans are letting him, you know, get away with a lot of things. Um, and this, this is why I don't like politics, because you're putting one man above the nation. You're letting this man run amok on this nation because of your party, because you're afraid that this man, who you think has political power, is going to affect your political job. Fuck, you're a lawyer. So who gives a fuck if you lost the Senate? Who gives a shit if you lost the House? You're a lawyer. You can go back to law. You can go back and stop, I mean, and practice law. What's the big deal? You know? So you're putting this man in this pedestal. You let him do you let him do whatever he wants. Because I bet you, if you put pressure on him and say, you have to go. You have to do this transition and you have to do it smoothly. Or else you're going to ruin our party, this is not the way. You know, they, they, and if he says, you know how much power I got? I can destroy you? Fuck it. I don't give a fuck what kind of power you got. You got to go. People may say, well, that's not a political thing to do. You know, that, that that's a career move. I don't care, bro. Put your country first above all things. We have no, we know that, 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 that there hasn't been any proof of fraud. None. We know that. There were the human mistakes, yes, but not to the point where you where, where you did did franchise seven million votes. That's what he wanted to do in Pennsylvania, seven million votes. Now he's doing another recount, which he had the right to in Atlanta, in, in Georgia. It's going to come out to the same bullshit. Then he said today, 
uh, we're gonna let the courts and legislature handle this. Come on, he just wants to do something that has been done twice, and I don't think I don't think it's gonna be done. But it's time to move on. A man takes his losses and he takes his wins and his losses. You you won two 2016. You gave a very effort in 20, 2020. 74 million people have voted for you, which is a great feeling in itself. Take that, ride with that. And if you want to vote for 2024, stay on that. That you, that you know that you have 74 million people after you. I mean, I'm not after you, are with you. <clears throat> as long as you maintain four years of cleanliness, which I doubt because there are all the things that's going on at this presidency. And then you're good. Okay? But he's not doing that. He's mock he's making a mockery of our judicial system. He's making a mockery of our uh, of our democracy. He's making a mocking a mocking of our voting. He's just he's just making a fool of himself. He's already a fool, but he's making a fool of himself. And he's dragging everything that is presidential of him. You know, um People are not going to see this the same way in 2024 as they're doing now. If he keeps on doing what he's doing. 2024, people are going to say, why should we vote if it's going to fraud? Because Trump said. And people believe what Trump says. And pe Trump Trump is a man who, whose education is not very good. He's not, he's not an educated man. People say he's a smart man for what he's doing. No, he's not being a smart man. He's being told what to do. Giuliani is telling him, you know what? We could do this. His lawyer is telling him, we could do that. We could do this. He doesn't know anything about constitutional law. He doesn't know anything about political law. He doesn't know any of that. He probably doesn't even know the fifth, sixth, seventh. He doesn't probably doesn't even know all the all, all, all the all the um, the Constitution. You know, the First Amendment, the Second Amendment. He probably doesn't even know all of them. You know, and it's kind of a shame. And if you ask Barack and you ask this person, they know because they just. Barack was a lawyer. He studied that. Um, Henry's a lawyer. He studied that. Um, George Bush is a businessman, but he knows. He wasn't that great of a president, but... But these are people who know. Donald Trump don't know. Donald Trump is a self... He's a selfish man. And if you people can't see that, then there's something wrong with you people. He's a narcissist. Everything is Trump, 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 Trump. If you look... If you look... If you look at his speeches... The moronic things that he says. Oh, I was on TV and my show and my thing was rated the highest of all. Highest of all. I got in, the crowd was immensely huge. The, the biggest crowd there was in any presidential history. Um, all, all he cares about is numbers that to him favors him. He has an obsession with Barack Obama. Or mine's, I, I did better than what Barack Obama did. I did this while the prior administration. He's always talking about the prior administration. And he's obsessed with, 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 with Barack Obama. And this thing about the transition of power, the transmission of power for him went smoothly. Hillary Clinton conceded the following day. He himself made a speech and thanked, he thanked Barack Obama and Michelle Obama for the transition. Did he not say that? Did he not say that he won by a last night? Because he got the same numbers that Biden did, 306 to, 220, to 232. The same exact number. And he said they were a last line. But he doesn't say anything about this. So, so when they beat him with the same numbers, it's fraud. When they, when they beat him with this, oh, it's fraud. You can't take a beating. Don't just, don't, just, don't, you know. This is politics. It's like anything in life. You, you win and you lose. You win some, you lose some. And it's a shame that he's dragging our country down. And you guys are in the, you Republican senators, House of Representatives, all of you Republicans out there are letting him. You guys don't have the balls like Mitt Romney do and others who have come out and said, you have to concede, you have to do this, you have to do that. None of you guys do because you guys think of the man instead of thinking of the country that you